The Mukambika Temple, located in the town of Kolur, in the Udupi district of Karnataka, India, is a revered Hindu shrine dedicated to goddess Mukambika, a form of Shakti and Saraswati. This temple is situated amidst the lush greenery of the Western Ghats and draws devotees from all over the country due to its spiritual significance and serene ambience. Legend has it that the goddess Mukambika vanquished the demon Mukasura, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. The temple's sanctum sanctorum houses a Jyotirlinga, which is believed to have been installed by the sage Parashurama. This unique lingam embodies both male and female principles, with one half representing Shiva and the other Shakti. The architecture of the temple is a blend of Kerala and Karnataka styles, with intricate carvings and vibrant murals adorning its walls. The annual Navaratri festival is a major event here, drawing thousands of pilgrims who participate in various rituals and cultural performances. Apart from its religious significance, the Mookambika temple is also known for its picturesque surroundings offering a peaceful retreat for those seeking solace and spiritual rejuvenation. The Supanika River, believed to possess healing properties, adds to the temple's allure, making it a cherished destination for devotees. The distance from Mukambika Temple in Kola to Kudajadri, also spelled Kodachadri, is approximately 25 kilometers. Kudajadri, a picturesque mountain peak in the Western Ghats, holds significant religious and natural allure. The initial part of the journey from Mukambika Temple to Nitur is relatively straightforward and well paved. This stretch typically involves a drive through lush green forests and picturesque landscapes offering a pleasant experience. From Nitta, the road becomes narrower and more rugged as you approach the base of Kudajadri. This part of the journey might involve navigating through winding roads with sharp bends and uneven surfaces, requiring careful driving. If you choose to drive, a sturdy vehicle, preferably a 444, is recommended for the latter part of the journey. Local Jeep services are available at Nitta for those who prefer not to drive. For trekking enthusiasts, it's advisable to start early in the day to avoid the afternoon heat and to carry sufficient water and snacks. Despite the rugged terrain, the journey from Mukambika to Kudajadri is rewarding, offering a blend of spiritual fulfillment and a deep connection with nature. The panoramic views from Kudajadri Peak, along with its spiritual significance, make the effort well worth it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
part of the journey offers breathtaking views of the Western Ghats, with dense forests, cascading streams, and occasional glimpses of wildlife. The lush greenery and tranquil environment provide a refreshing break from urban life. During the dry season, the path can be dusty, while the monsoon season can make the route muddy and slippery. The road is dotted with sharp bends and steep inclines, requiring careful navigation. The jeep ride can be quite bumpy and thrilling, as it navigates through rocky paths, steep slopes and narrow passages. The ride typically takes about 30-45 minutes. A small shrine located en route to the peak, dedicated to the goddess Mukambika, it is considered a sacred spot where Adi Shankaracharya meditated. Upon reaching the peak, you are greeted with panoramic views of the Western Ghats and the surrounding valleys. On a clear day, the view extends all the way to the Arabian Sea. Despite the rugged terrain, the journey from Mukambika to Kudajadri is rewarding, offering a blend of spiritual fulfillment and a deep connection with nature. The panoramic views from Kudajadri Peak, along with its spiritual significance, make the effort well worth it. The journey by foot from the base of Kudajadri to the peak is an invigorating and scenic trek that appeals to nature lovers and adventure enthusiasts. Wear comfortable and sturdy trekking shoes for the rocky and uneven terrain. Carry a backpack with essentials such as water, snacks, a first aid kit and rain gear if trekking during the monsoon. While the trail is marked, having a local guide or joining a group can enhance safety and provide better orientation. After the initial forested area, the trail opens up to a clearing with panoramic views of the surrounding hills and valleys. This is a good spot to rest and hydrate. The trek starts with a gradual ascent through dense forest. The path is narrow and can be muddy, especially after rains. The lush greenery, tall trees, and the sound of birds and insects create a tranquil environment. Occasionally, trekkers might encounter small streams that need to be crossed. The trail becomes steeper and more rocky as you ascend further. This section requires careful footing and more physical effort. The vegetation transitions with fewer trees and more shrubs and grass as you gain altitude. The trek from the base of Kudajadri to the peak is a rewarding adventure that offers a blend of natural beauty, physical challenge and spiritual fulfilment. Whether you're a seasoned trekker or a first-time adventurer, the experience is sure to leave you with lasting memories.
The trek from the base of Kudajadri to the peak is a rewarding adventure that offers a blend of natural beauty, physical challenge and spiritual fulfilment. Whether you're a seasoned trekker or a first-time adventurer, the experience is sure to leave you with lasting memories. The peak offers a serene and peaceful environment, perfect for rest and reflection. The cool breeze and the stunning vistas provide a sense of accomplishment and tranquility. Prasida, Prasida, Prabhu, Karanam, 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 Vasakam Vasamanam Shivam Kevaram Vasakam Vasakanam Tuliyam Tama Paramatyal Tahiram Tuliyam Tama Paramatyal Tahiram Prabhatya Param Namaste, <laughs>
the trek back to the base follows the same path. It generally takes less time than the ascent, but can be tough on the knees, so descending with caution is essential 